We got a super exciting episode today. We're actually going to Neil's house right now from Timepiece Trading. He's got a crazy collection. Neil told me he spent over $200,000 on sneakers and clothing in his life. I'd never keep shoes new, bro. I thought that was crazy, so I had to go check it out. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Another episode of Behind the Hype. We hope you enjoyed this video. Wait till the end to see what you can win for free. The store in Brickles finally opened. Sales are booming, and we got a lot going on. We opened on Saturday about three days ago. Way better than the Coconut Grove store so far. Tuesday's our slowest day, so we'll see how today goes. Yesterday was great. We're basically just filling the frame with white Air Forces. It kind of looks like a little, almost like a picture frame, and then everything inside is the rest of the sneakers. Air Force is a big thing here, selling for 99 bucks, cheaper than anywhere. Cheaper than Nike. We just got a big shipment, actually. So we got some new brands we haven't had before. We had some off-white, but nothing crazy. We got some basic tees. We got it like way under retail. We're gonna be selling it way under retail. I think it's like a $400 shirt. Probably sell it here for like 250. I'm thinking People like that all day. Palm Angels, people like it. Also under retail. We already sold the Palm Angels tea. We sold and, two. Uh, yeah, as I was unpacking them. It's crazy. Like we literally got a shipment of like 20 of these and we sold two of them before we can put it on the shelf. So you're gonna walk into the Palm Angels store, pay 400, walk into here, pay 250. New beginnings here. We got a lot going on. We got some, our merch coming finally. We said it was gonna come before grand opening, but customs, f you. You guys asked for it and it's finally here. We had been long awaiting our merch to come to the store. We thought it was gonna land for grand opening. Unfortunately, had some issues with that, but we finally got it. I was super excited to check it out. It's time, finally, we got our merch. It's been, we've been waiting for so long. We've been meaning to do an actual cool line of clothes that we like and wanna wear ourselves. And we finally did it. We got a bunch of hoodies here. I think we got a box of hats, check those out. We got the hoodies in, but we're still waiting on the shirts. Actually, toss me one of those that was out, plastic. So we got the basic trucker. This is nothing crazy, just a hype trucker. We're probably gonna give a ton of these away. I think we're gonna do a promo. We should do a promo on the street where we just leave them outside and shit. I give them away to customers all the time. If you guys seen our merch before, this is a regular basic hype tee. I literally printed them online on some random website, but we actually took the time, chose the materials. It's funny enough, the guy who made them is from Peru. If you guys remember him from our other videos, he actually sold us a bunch of kit tees. Say what's up to YouTube. Oh. This is the man behind the hoodies. The shirts are coming tomorrow. But anyways, I'll show you guys a little bit about the hoodie. It's super cool. I love the materials. It's heavyweight, but it's also actually, it's thin. It's just the baggy fit. That's why it kind of looks heavy, but it's actually not that heavy itself. As you can see, Miami, Florida original collection. This is kind of our first collection of real merch, I would say. Our own logo embroidered on here. It's the simple hype logo. We got a black on black one. I think JD's got one on. Show him the black on black one. Let's see. Oh, is sick, bro. Does it have, oh yeah, it has the Miami collection on the back too. You know what? Let's do this. So this giveaway, a full line of the whole merch. Two t-shirts, two hoodies, a hat to whoever wins this week's giveaway. You know how to enter. We'll have more instructions later. We got a celebrity in the house today. Look what just came in. Live review. What do you think? Free 99, but you gotta, you gotta give us a review first. So Excel, so it's probably big for you. It's oversized. God damn, you're swimming in that. You need like a medium, bro. Honest review. You could tell me it's ass. They feel good? All right, well, you definitely need like two sizes down, but yeah. I'll take two though. All right, bet. All right, guys, we got a super exciting episode today. We're actually going to Neil's house right now from Timepiece Trading. He's got a crazy collection. Neil told me he spent over $200,000 on sneakers and clothing in his life. I thought that was crazy, so I had to go check it out. I don't know if I believe that, but we're gonna go check it out. We got a little care package for him for letting us come to his crib and film. Let's see what he's got. Super excited to see what he's got in his closet. I've seen him wear some stuff, but I don't know exactly what's inside there. Let's come check it out. We're here today. You already know what we're here today to do. We're checking out your closet. We wanna see what you got inside. I know you're always dripping sneakers, clothes, head to toe, always good. First though, let's break down the fit. What's you got on? Head to uh, some gallery I copped it actually this, this weekend with uh, Adam and Dunks. Off white dunks. How many do you have of those? I think like 10 or 11 of them. God damn. I would love to have all 50, bro. Honestly. I think that's a sick collection, especially because yeah. you could display it. You got 12, bro. 12, you got, yeah. That's tough to find shoes then. It uh, has to be. I mean, some shoes. I find them. Because like, yeah. like the Louis Air Forces, do you have a pair of Louis Air Forces or no? I had. I gifted them to my brother. Part of making the money is like showing the people you love, like love. Giving it back. Yeah. Well, what do you got on your wrist, bro? I asked for the fit. So I, need AP see, skeleton, I, need, I need to see the wrist. Open work that's called actually stainless steel. Honestly, my favorite watch in the world. It's in this tattoo. If you could only you have one watch and you have the money, I think nothing beats this. Oh, we trade steel yeah, AP real steel looks. AP. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. we'll open work scaly. Crazy. First of all, I want to ask you, because I've seen you with pretty much everything that you can imagine. How much do you think you've spent on sneakers? If I had to guess, I would say on sneakers, like 200000 I buy everything new, bro. I don't buy used. I never keep shoes new, bro. When I The day I buy them, I throw on a fit to match. I f*** them up on purpose, so I'm not worried about wearing them again. I have one pair of shoes that's new that I won't wear because I have duplicate, or like you may see a couple new, but I have duplicates that I wear. A lot of people do like one to rock, one to stock. Do you like that or you just want to wear everything? With some pairs. When I fall in love with the pair, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you get all this shit for retail? Do you get it nah. for... When I see a pair, like say I see you wearing a pair that I fall in love with, yeah. I'll, I'll find it and buy it. What's your favorite pair of shoes? Let's start there. These are my favorite. White Air Force, you can't go wrong. Everyone got those, let's be real. I got these. That's the OG OG. So this is a shoe, for example, that I used to be buying like brand new when it first came out, seven, $800. I wish. And now this shoe's hitting for like 3,000. Like, okay. 
that's the thing with some of these shoes. If you do keep them brand new, like they literally have 3,000 sounds like a great price, actually. Yeah. I think I paid more. Is this brand new? No, those are pre-owned, but you're gonna see 99% of the stuff. 99% is pre-owned. Pre yeah. Pre-owned, yeah. Like I've worn everything, bro. These, how, how much are those? Three grand, that's probably, really? probably like two grand. Damn, I've worn those once and I hate them, bro. I hate throwing shoes out, bro. Like I can't, like no, I'm a hoarder. You have a cool story behind any of these sneakers that, like, <laughs> I that, that I you like wanted as a kid or like that you like. In college, I would love sneakers, right? Like I would look at Yeezys, I would look at people wearing like the off-whites when they just came out, the UNCs. And at the time, they were only like 1100, 1200. It wasn't crazy like now. I actually bought fakes, like no cap. <laughs> I was a capper in college. I wore these fakes and I kept them. I have the real ones in my apartment in Brickell where we're gonna go after this. F this shit. Oh, so those are the fakes. <laughs> yeah, these two. And I have the real ones now as well, which is sick. Are these the fake? Yeah, they're fake, right? Bro, yeah, this is like just memories, you know? I had like two pairs of fake Yeezys too, which is why I was talking about Yeezys and now I have like 40, I think legit, like 30, 40 pairs of real Yeezys. I can see how this would add up to 200,000. Now, now, now I see where we got. The Zoom flies, I don't know how much these are hitting for right now. Probably right around a rack if I had to guess. You're into the designer stuff. Tell me about that. You like, Dude, I'm you not like, at all. Bro, you have Louis Vuitton everywhere. I'm into <laughs> designer clothing, but the shoes, the shoes. I fucking hate and I don't know why I bought so many. The craziest part is, is like most of these designer brands, they've ripped off all like the Jordan models and like you compare like a Louis Vuitton trainer or like a Dior high top, like they all look like Converse's or like Nike's or- But they don't feel the same. But yeah, right there, that's probably another like three bands between those three pairs are probably a rack each, 1500 each. So. We got shoes up there. Those are like Yeezys, right? Some Yeezys, yeah, that's like 400 bucks. Those Fly Street wears, that's like another 400, eight, probably 100 bucks right there, nine, another four right there, that's 13. Those are Balenciaga socks Some up there. Some Balenciaga sock runners, couple hundred bucks. Uh, these are Louis. Yeah, I loved these back in the day. Actually. See, it literally looks like a Jordan 1. These are like Versace. Versace. These are like 600, I think. Louis, Dior. Dior. That's like a thousand each. Those are like probably 600 brand new. We're at like 14,000. What are these? I've never seen these before. I love this color because it color matches a backpack I just got. Sick, is it new dunk? These slides are actually a G each, bro. I have three pairs of them, all colors. What? Yeah. It's like Louis one. selling them right now. Red, blue, and black. There's three colorways. They're pretty comfy, yes. Which ones are most comfortable? Definitely easy slides. I feel like everyone knows that, but yeah. literally the most comfortable. And they're, they're good looking, bro. Yeah, I like the force too. This is one of the cleanest colorways. But are you guys like me where you go through phases of what you wear? Like right now, I'm only wearing dunks, I feel. And that's what's hot though right now, yeah, right? Yeah, that's something for us. And for girls, it's like dunks and New Balance. New Balance is really like taking off right now because they're doing collabs with like everyone. Like, Steve f***s with New Balance heavy. This is just what I've been wearing a lot. So I don't go through my whole closet because then I'll be taking 10 minutes to pick out a pair of shoes. So yeah. when you pick out a fit, what do you start with? You start with the shoes or you start with the watch? Where do you, where do you go, bro? Oh, I'm trying to think, what, what did I do this morning? I picked the t-shirt first, then okay. pants to match, then I pick shoes. Watch and jewelry oh. all after I'm oh. fully ready out of the shower. All right, so you got some more off-whites here. These brand new right now are hitting for like seven, eight thousand oh, dollars, which yeah. is insane. When did you pick this one? I think I paid six for them. Six brand new? Yeah. That's a solid price. Uh, like a year ago, I think. Especially for a size 12. And these are brand new. And I beat them. You beat the shit or not? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I forget what they look like new, but that's how it should be though. <laughs> Everyone wear your sneakers, man. I've been saying that. Honestly, if I had to put a number on it, everything in here, like you would definitely have six figures with the clothing and obviously like six figures like in your closet, which is insane. And this is just here. You've given out gifts like crazy. You said you gave, gave away a Louis Vuitton Air Force One. You give people crazy shit. So you've definitely spent crazy amounts of money on sneakers. I've definitely given out six digits of clothing and sneakers for sure. These are crazy. This is like Nike stopped doing the nice leather that they do. Like this used to be probably like some of the nicest leather they did on ones and they cheaped out recently with the newer one. I love, that's why I love these. So what's like the shoe that got you into it though? Like you saw that, you're like I need Yeezys, to have bro. Yeezys? When yeah. they first came out, no cap. Like yeah. when I saw them and, and I saw the prices, it was like, damn, I have to work towards it. Like yeah. it's not a shoe I can just go buy and it made me start thinking about shoes. I was leasing an Audi S4 in college. It was 600 a month. Mm -hmm. So like Yeezys were like three months of the car for the turtles, like four. This is actually like- The barbers. It doesn't go for crazy money, but dude, the color scheme and the little thing is- I honestly just want to get rid of that. That's why I haven't worn them yet, because of this little gold clip. Yeah. I'm so lazy to take laces in and out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> these, bro, and these are like some of the most faked shoes now. Like, bro, like they've gotten the fakes for shoes. Like, I don't know about watches, but like they got crazy good. Like Damn. people, whole ass business, like for some people. I love those shoes. Yeah, you could rip this off and it, it reveals a whole other color under it. Should we do it? <laughs> I never knew that, bro. You're crazy, bro. Why don't we like make a little hole in it? All right, let's and see. And I'll it. remember it. All right, let's you see. do it. You do it. All right. 
You're the shoe guy. Are you sure there's something under that? I'm yeah. almost Otherwise, he, he got it. He owes me a pair of shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Likes to <laughs> he loves to gamble, bro. Yeah. I saw how much you make. It was on YouTube. So yeah. You know you yeah. <laughs> you know who would be great at this? Gilly. He does customizations and he does all this shit like, and he actually knows what he's doing. So what do you think? I mean, now we have to for the video unless we cut all that out. Take the other one too then, right? All right, let's do it. Stay tuned to next week. You're not going to miss it. We customized the shit out of these Travis Scott SBs. He had a crazy collection at his house, but he just recently moved to Brickle, which is awesome. We went to his apartment to check out the rest. I just got this apartment like 45 days ago. Fireplace, bro. So this right here is the real pair, UNC oh, ones. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah, this looks a lot better. Right over, bro. <laughs> When'd you get these? Like a year ago also. A year ago also. You picked up a lot of stuff like a year ago. Yeah, I went on a streak, bro. I just went crazy on like all the off-white. So you say you go through phases. What phase are you in right now? What are you buying now? I'm buying all these colorful dunks, the cheap ones. I, I just love them. I f with them heavy. They match like every outfit. I think you said that in a video. They make so many, bro. It's so easy. Like you said, they're cheap. They're easy to pick up. Wow. You really love them, bro. Love you them. love them so much, you fing destroyed them. Them. God damn, bro. Yeah. You have all of them now. You have all the ones. You have the Euros, see, you have the UNC. The so I used to like buy and sell used shoes and like I used to buy some like beaters. This is one of my favorites in my collection. Like I have a like, same. they're just comfortable and it goes with like everything. I don't have a pair of those yet. I just have uh, these you and a few other Phantoms, the original ones and these. Show for your rooms. These are pretty dope too, I think. Um, I love those. Yeah. Those are, and they, they don't even hit like crazy. Like those are like five, six hundred bucks, but like I fing love that pair. I love these. This is the shoe of the year. Dude, I saw that. Let's see I have it. the whole set, like a hand carry, the backpack, and the keep on. I love this bag, bro. This bag is so crazy. flashy. Bro, when I wear this, I just feel like a rock star. That's f***ing insane. See, I, I haven't seen this in person, but I've seen it online. Like People are selling it for, uh, how much does it go for? Like 20K. 20K, right? Yeah. yeah. The retail's 23. But it's usable, bro. Like when you see it in pictures and videos, you're like, damn. The wow. The inside must just be a battery, you know? You got a lot of Louis jackets. You got so many jackets, bro, in Miami, bro. I, I rock them, because we're always like indoors. Yeah, bro, so I hear you, I hear awesome. you. Crazy collection. Thank I think you were right on though with the fucking number like whatever 200k something around there put it at a quarter mil comment below how much you think this is worth Th those pairs i bought because i really love them and i beat the f out of the first pair these are the fear fours oh they're like really good condition these are really hard to find in good condition because this is an older one probably goes brand new for like 1500 bucks there's a ton of pairs out there that are beat up but to find a pair like this definitely very rare after checking out his collection it was clear that he had over two hundred thousand dollars worth of sneakers and clothing which is insane i think he has a sick collection yeah. that's a wrap but i got i got one more thing for you we got some new merch there's nothing crazy brand new Hype shit, just simple, and then literally, bro. I know what the fuck to get you. You have everything, so you fresh pair of cokes. Can never go wrong with white Air Force. Got you, bro. Appreciate you. Bro. Yeah, of course. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for showing us your collection. It's insane. Let me know what you guys want to see next. That was, I don't know how we can top that, but we'll see. We saw watches and cars in Miami, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my collection, and I'll see you guys when he comes to TPT for a watch. Let's get it. If Hype gets 100K subscribers, we're giving away a pair of, what are we doing? My favorite pair. Yeah, I'm going to give away. Rolex, bro. Oh, okay, there we go. Rolex. Crazy. Bro. Fire. We're gonna buy from TPT. Yeah. We love you, Roman Sharp, but TPT is in Miami, man. For this, I will throw in a pair of these with the off white, my favorite pair. How about we give them my size 12? 100K subs coming soon. We're gonna have some crazy names on here. We're gonna add some crazy names on here. Let's get it, guys. Guys, definitely check out Neil's personal channel as well as the Timepiece Trading YouTube channel. They post some fire content. Neil, thank you for the tour. We'll have your shoes ready very soon. Yo, yo, we're about to call the winner of the giveaway for the hype merch. We just gave out some on the streets, too. We're about to call the winner from the YouTube video. Yo, congrats, bro. We got all the hype merch here for you. Thank you for your support. Say what's up to YouTube. Hi. How'd you hear about our channel? We, I mean, we saw the store first. Oh, okay, so you've been to the store? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna pick up all the merch in your size? All right, perfect. Congratulations. I'm gonna message you after this. We'll have it all ready for you. Thank you. Peace, thanks for the support. But yeah, guys, we give away stuff every single week. So easy to enter, the instructions are so simple. You literally follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and comment your Instagram and your size so we can let you know that you won the giveaway. All right, yo, we got us some boxes, man, finally, merch. Let's get it. Customs finally cleared the rest of our merch. We got the t-shirts and they're looking fresh. Basically our first collection of merch. So this is a very simple, basic black, white hoodie. This feels like essential, white logo, but yeah. show them the back though. Look at this, little, look at this. little Miami collection. You know, Miami, collection one, Florida, man. Florida collection Original one. collection, this is the OG collection. So, oh. if you have this, this is some OG sh Damn, way better than our first shirt. <laughs> 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 right, <laughs> right, 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 put that sh down. Put that sh down. Bro, look at the tag. Crazy. This is our first collection of merch we released to the public, guys. Make sure to check it out. We spent a lot of time on it. If you guys want to purchase some for yourself, we'll leave a link below or come check us out in Brickle. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Guys, we're giving away a free pair of Jordan 1 Low Black Toes. Make sure you follow all the instructions below and we'll see you next week.